another falconer video. Today's video I'm talking about eagles. Eagles are fascinating birds uh, and I've worked with eagles quite extensively. I've been a falconer most of my life and I've worked with golden eagles and bald eagles and ornate hawk eagles and bachelor eagles and harpy eagles. Worked with a wide range of eagles. But golden eagles, golden eagles, I love them. I've trained golden eagles for falconry. I've trained golden eagles for wildlife educational programs and also worked in rehab and even helped zoos prep their eagles for shows. So I've worked a lot with eagles. I know golden eagles well. And when I'm out doing shows, a lot of times, people will tell me this story and it's the same old story I've heard it a million times so I'm going to address it. I'm going to address the story itself and also the really fascinating psychology behind it that you probably haven't thought about. Here's how the story goes. Somebody's driving along a lonely stretch of road maybe out in the desert maybe in the prairie and they're out there those miles are going on and on and those little yellow dots in the road little yellow or white dots are just flying by flying by for hours. You get lulled into a hypnotic state and then all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, on the side of the road, a golden eagle, maybe it's eating a roadkill or something, it leaps into the air and flies across the road in front of you. And everybody will always say, it's always the same story. It's like, that eagle left in the air and it was five, six, seven feet tall. And when it flew across the road in front of me, that eagle was so big that its wingspan was wider than the road itself. Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? A lot of times when we're driving, we're not thinking and our perception is off. So let's first take a look about the circumstances. Those little dots in the road, let's take a look at how big those are. If we actually take a look at the size of those little dots, they're an average of 10 feet long. Now you might be thinking or being told in your head, oh, they're probably just a few inches, maybe a foot long, they're 10 feet. And typically the space between them is 25 to 27 feet. That's a lot. So our perception is way off. Now what about that eagle? That eagle that flew across the road in front of you? Well, it's interesting. They always say it flew across in front of you. Well, that wouldn't show you the wingspan. The eagle would have to be flying towards you for you to see the wingspan. So already there's issues with this story. But the point is not that. People could exaggerate, right? This could just be like, well, people like to tell tall tales. They like to make their stories bigger than they really were. But you know what? There's actually some very interesting psychology behind this, and that's what I want to get into, is the psychology of there's actually a secret reason why people wrongly perceive eagles to be much larger than they actually are. Here's where it gets really interesting with the psychology behind this. Humans uh, are, are perceiving things at all times, you know, visually, auditorially, we're perceiving the world around us. But there's four big animal groups that humans will have an, a, a different response to if it's a surprise. Now those are spiders, snakes, big cats, and birds of prey. Now these are all things that could harm us or kill us in the wild in prehistoric times. So it's wired into us that if you unexpectedly see a spider, if you unexpectedly see a snake, if you suddenly see a big cat, or if you unexpectedly see a bird of prey, to have that per be perceived by your mind as larger than life, to dedicate all your neural processing to making a decision of what to do, how to escape, how to survive. So your brain will literally make those be experienced and remembered as much larger than they actually were. And this happens even to me, I, I've had this happen, I, I'll never forget, I was riding up Big Cottonwood Canyon in the middle of the night after doing some astrophotography, and unexpectedly from the side of the road, a great horned owl, which is the biggest owl in Utah, leapt up and flew right across to me. The headlights illuminated the owl and it flew up to the tree, and I turned to my friend, I'm like, that is the biggest gray horned owl I've ever seen in my life. Now we could have kept driving and that would have been the story I would have shared with people. But I backed up, I pulled over, looked at the tree where it landed, it took out my spotlight and looked at it and it's like, oh, oh no, actually that is by far the smallest great horned owl I've ever seen in my life. A tiny little male about the size of a large barn owl couldn't believe it. My perception, because it was unexpected, my brain went mmm, and made it enormous to my thinking. Now this is what happens when we're driving along and we see these large eagles on the side of the road. It's different. If you saw an eagle on a telephone pole, if you're out bird watching, you see an eagle and you see it, you're driving closer, driving closer to it and you get out your binoculars, you get a good look at it, that's different. But if it's unexpectedly whoop, jumping up 
going in front of you, your brain will make that memory much larger than they actually are. So how big are they? Well, golden eagles, uh, you know, you know, nine, 10 pound golden eagle will be a big eagle in the United States here. Uh, they're, you know, they're, uh, you know, they have about a six foot wingspan. You know, there's give or take and the females are larger than the males, but a six foot wingspan, that's a big eagle. Uh, and they um, also, you know, standing on the ground, if, if they are taking off, and they're stretching out their legs to full height and their neck to full height to take off. You know, that's, you know, it's about four feet, give or take. That's a big bird. So if your brain is going, whoa, unexpected large raptor, it makes that much larger. So a three and a half or four foot tall eagle suddenly becomes a five or six foot tall eagle. And uh, flapping across the road unexpectedly, suddenly you're seeing this enormous bird. But really, your perception is warped. It's warped because genetically, those four family groups, spiders, snakes, big cats, and birds of prey, if we encounter any of those unexpectedly around the corner, we will always perceive them as larger than they actually are. And that is a prehistoric survival mechanism still built into our brains. But if you actually film the bird, or if you actually record it accurately, it's not as big as you thought. We do not have eagles flying around with 20 foot wingspans. There were prehistoric birds that big, uh, but not anymore, not by a long shot. So a good in the United States, uh, you know, six foot wingspan is a good wingspan for a big eagle, golden eagle or a bald eagle. And even though there is a little bit of variance where you might have a slightly larger individual, it's not these enormous things that people think they unexpectedly see on the sides of the road. So I wanted to share this with you just because I think it's good for us to be aware how our mind perceives things is not always accurate, especially when it comes to things happening out in nature. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. And as always, happy hawking. Thank you.